Good morning children sai ram let us begin a new chapter in evs 1 and the name of the lesson is food and nutrition and this is your seventh chapter in evs 1 now children from the heading of the chapter that is food and nutrition we understand that we get various health benefits from various food items each food item which we have every day includes some amount and some kind of nutrition in it and that is what we are going to learn in today's video and we will start by learning the new words so here are your new words on the screen look at the first one n o u r i s h i n g nourishing now all these words are related to food items so nourishing means the food which gives you various health benefits which keeps you fit and healthy is called nourishing food is that clear now look at the second one i n e x p e n s i v e inexpensive inexpensive means which is not costly okay the things which are not costly or with the things which are cheap cheap in rate you know less uh less costly or not costly are known as inexpensive okay third one is s t a p l e staple staple means the main and the important food item which we include every day in our diet okay fourth one is f o o d s t u f f s food stuffs food stuffs means the variety of food items which we come across every day are known as food stuffs for example rice wheat dal uh, you know bhakris all these are kinds of food stuffs and food items and the last one is m e a l s meals meals means the things the lunch dinner are called meals which we have every day during afternoon we have lunch so that is one meal then at night we have dinner that is another meal then in between we have breakfast we have snacks those are the small meals which we have every day so meals means the food which we eat is called meals okay now are you uh, thorough with all the new words now let us move on further now what we are most and important thing what we are going to watch in today's video is about the staple food now staple just now i explained you staple means the important and the daily food item which we include every day in our diet which we include which we eat every day is known as staple food it is it is it is one of the most important uh, food in our you know in our regular diet so that is meant by staple food now look at this chapati now see chapati is a food stuff which we eat every day every day or alternate days but it is eaten in large amount it is uh, it is eaten every day you can see or it is eaten alternately but you eat chapati you include chapati in your diet every day or alternately but in large quantity and that is why it is one of our staple food okay then comes bhakri there are many people who eat bhakri also every day so bhakri is also one of a staple diet now bhakri is can be made from rice it can be made from jowar it can be made from bajra it can be made from ragi so all these things whichever people prefer to eat they they make bhakri of all these grains okay then comes rice yes even rice is a food stuff which we include you know not maybe every day but we include in our diet in larger quantity most of the time and that is why rice chapati and bhakri are our staple food okay chapati bhakri and rice form a part of every meal every meal means see while lunch you may have a chapati you may have some vegetable you may have dal you may have rice so that is we have it every day then the next day you may have bhakri you may have vegetable you may have rice you may have dal so these are the things which we include most of the time in our diet or we include every day in our diet in our meals during lunch during dinner or during breakfast during snack okay so there are various items which can be made from chapati various items which can be made from bhakri and various food items which can be made from rice 
so that is why it forms an important part of our everyday meal okay then we eat more of these foods than of the others yes it is very very true because chapati rice bhakri we eat more see we cannot eat pizza every day we cannot eat noodles every day we cannot eat you know sandwiches and burgers and pastries and what all things which we get outside we cannot eat them every day but we can eat chapati bhakri rice we have it every day and it keeps us fit and healthy so that is why we eat more of these foods every day than of the others now wheat okay from wheat we prepare chapatis okay from wheat there are various we can prepare wheat halwa also it is a sweet dish which i had shown you in the previous chapter but chapati is a preparation of wheat is a food stuff or a, or a food item of wheat which we include every day in our meal then comes jowar from jowar bhakri is made that is the main thing which we have uh, alternately we include in our diet most of the time as well as you can we saw the varieties of jowar like hurdal haya you know we saw various food uh, stuffs of jowar made from jowar then comes rice rice can be eaten in the form of cooked rice with dal or with some gravy or it can be uh, rice can be used for making idlis for making dosas for making any items for making kheer to a sweet dish for making modaks for making bhakris so rice can be consumed in the form of any food stuff but it is included in our diet most of the time so it forms one of our staple food diet or one of our staple food so wheat jowar rice are said to be our staple foods because we eat them in the form of various food items by making it into various delicious dishes but we eat it every day and that is why it forms Uh, an important part of our daily diet and that is the reason why it is called as staple foods okay now however with chapatis bhakri rice we eat several items which make our meals tastier what is the meaning of that see we don't only eat chapati bhaji chapati bhaji chapati bhaji no we also have some various dishes within us in the plate like we have salads we have pickles we have papads so we have chutneys so all these things they are served with these main food items and that makes our food more tastier those things are eaten in small quantities see pickle you cannot have one full bowl of pickle every day you eat pickles in small quantities okay as similarly as papads you cannot eat papads as much and as you can it just adds a crunchiness to our food we like eating it we can eat it at to a limited extent but these food what do they do they make our food tastier they make our meal tastier so we not only include everyday chapati bhaji but with chapati bhaji and with rice and dal or with bhakri we include other several food items which helps to make our meal tastier now listen to this besides for reasons of good health okay for maintaining good health it is important to include these food items in our meals okay the main thing the food gives energy to our body but if you have good and healthy food every day your body will become more strong to fight against diseases okay so that is the main thing we have food food gives us energy to our body and if we had if we have healthy food every day we may fall sick very rarely okay we may not feel weak we may not feel drowsy we may fall we will have the capacity to fight against diseases more and more and we become strong on the other side okay so that is the reason we should have good food for good health and all the other items should be included in with our meals but in smaller quantities so that it keeps us fit and healthy
ओके एंड अकॉर्डिंग टू अवर नीड्स मीन्स इफ यू नीड पिकल देन ओनली यू हैव इट इफ समाइम्स यू फील दैट नो आई डोंट वॉन्ट टू हैव देन यू डोंट हैव इट सो इट इज अकॉर्डिंग टू योर नीड्स ओके वॉट फूड आइटम यू वॉन्ट टू बी इंक्लूडेड इन योर एवरी डे डाइट इट इज ऑन योर चॉइस सो इट इज योर ओन नीड then some food stuffs are eaten in large amount like i told you rice bakri dal uh, then uh, uh, this chapatis they are eaten in large amount while others are eaten in small quantities like pickle is there you eat pickle in small quantities yes or no you eat chutney in small quantity okay same way you eat you ketchup also tomato sauce is there or any other sauces are there we eat in small quantities not in larger quantities so same way there are some food stuffs which are eaten in large quantity and there are some food stuffs which are eaten in small quantities and it depends upon our choice it depends upon our needs how much we want that particular food item now some people believe that costly foods are more nourishing than inexpensive food okay means for example you take cheese cheese is costly so some people believe if we include cheese every day in our diet that means we will be healthy more it is it will be nourishing more. no it is not always true okay it is not always true see some people it is not written that all the people some people believe that costly foods are more nourishing than inexpensive inexpensive means those food items which are sold at a cheaper rate okay which are not costly they believe that these foods are not nourishing and costly foods are more nourishing but it is false it is wrong okay but that is not always true very very clear see as i told you it is not always that that costly foods are more nourishing than cheaper foods no same way all expensive foods are not more nourishing it is not always true it is not always right that all the expensive foods are not or nourishing or they are not nourishing it may be nourishing it may not be nourishing but it is not the case always okay similarly all cheaper foods are not less nourishing on the other hand even cheaper foods they also can be nourishing sometimes they cannot be nourishing so same way it is we can't say which food is more nourishing and which food is not more nourishing so it does not depend on the price of the food always it also depends on the things which we get from that food item the nourishment which we get from that food item is more important than its cost and than its price is that very clear now this was the end of today's video i hope you have understood what i have taught today so we'll take a quick recap we just studied in today's video about main thing that is about the staple foods we saw the food stuffs which we include every day in our meals and that are called as staple foods apart from that we saw about the foods that we include in our every day meal in smaller quantities which also are nourishing to our Help, but we include them in smaller quantities, and we saw about the expensive food items and inexpensive food items. Means, it is not true that all expensive items, food items, are nourishing, and it is not always true that all inexpensive food items are nourishing. It can be the other way also. Okay, so the food items nourishment. does not depends on its price and does not depends on its cost it is the it is the nourishment the type of nourishment we get from each food item that is more important okay so thank you for watching this video carefully and listening to me carefully goodbye take care thank you